Well, welcome back to Stake Insanity. It's I'm on day one twelve or something like that now. Um, I want to talk about a couple of things. So first of all, I had a couple of cheat days. Like, well, we can discuss whether we think they're actually cheat days. They're definitely cheating, but are they totally off diet? I don't, I'm not sure. And I want to talk about the effects of that. And then I think off the back of that discussion, I think I have a couple of more individual videos that I want to make. I want to make, well, we'll get to that in a minute. So last week, Wednesday, I went to Cambridge for two nights for a business trip. And I, I had some meetings with clients and friends on the Wednesday evening. And then Thursday evening, I had this posh dinner for part of this networking group that I'm in at Cambridge University. And I made the conscious decision on Wednesday that I was going to have some drinks Wednesday evening. And I haven't had a drink since like, maybe I might have had a, a sip of wine, but I haven't had a night out having any drinks since probably November. And... I wanted to have drinks, so I made the executive decision that I was going to have drinks. Now, I don't consider drinks as part of the diet. Um, so during the day, totally on diet, um, met in the afternoon, late afternoon, like 4 o'clock, 4.30. Um, again, caught up with some friends. I had four pints of cider, apple cider. Then... Then we went to dinner, and actually at dinner I had one margarita with a steak and two bites of creamed spinach and about eight home, what we would what I would say are like chips, like fat chips um, or home fries. Maybe in the U.S. you might call them home fries, but really thick, not the skinny ones like McDonald's, but really thick ones. Um, hand cut sort of big chips then and I had loads of water <clears throat> I had loads of water throughout the evening as well and then the people that I was with left and then well one of them left I went for a drink I had a rum and coke and then the, that other person that I was with left and then I went and I wasn't ready to go home yet, so I went and had a double single barrel Jack Daniels with a piece of ice. Now, that for me is totally off diet. All the alcohol is off diet, particularly because of the mixers, the Coke, the the mix for the margarita, um, the few bites of potatoes and all of that. So I just consider that was I was off diet, even though most of the day I was okay, but that was an off diet day. Then the next day, I woke up in the morning. I actually felt totally fine, went to the gym, had a quick workout in the morning. I had more meetings during the day. I had crispy chili chicken at this <clears throat> at this restaurant that I go to, which actually, even though it says crisp, most of the time when you get crispy chili chicken from somewhere, it's got a lot of batter on it. And actually at this place, it doesn't. It has hardly any batter at all which is why I go there um, but the the sauce is quite sweet even though it's got chili in it and I had fresh chilies on it but again I was kind of like okay well I've been off the diet I'm going to take a break on the diet because I knew I was going to be off later so I thought right I'm just going to have a proper day off I wanted to kind of I was a little bit curious to see what would happen um, so anyway so I had that for lunch then in the afternoon what did I have I might have had a little bit of a, had a few bites of a chocolate bar in the afternoon. And then I went to this dinner. I had one glass of white wine. I had a lamb roast. And, but I had, what did I have? I had a, um, almost like an arancini sort of, ball but it didn't have any rice in it it was it was more like potato and and um, chicken it was kind of weird but I had one of those as a starter 
and then I had the lamb and I had a few bites of mashed potato and I, I just really wasn't feeling it. Oh, and I had a, um, a very small, like a very small, um, roll with some butter at the beginning. <clears throat> and then this like very nice French pastry profiterole thing with strawberries and cream. So again, completely, that was completely off the diet. So Thursday, totally off the diet. Um, Friday, I went to the gym in the morning. And so there's, there's two things now I want to pick up on. One is the alcohol point. I want to make a separate video about this because <laughs> while we were out drinking and, you know, sort of joking around about how alcohol and like, you know, Jack Daniels and stuff isn't on the diet because it's basically just fermented sugar. Um, one of the people that I was with looked up and actually apparently tequila um, doesn't have any sugars in it at all and doesn't have any carbs in it as opposed to some other alcohols. I don't know how true that is. Um, so I want to look into it and I want to do a separate video talking about that because, and again, I know some people, alcohol is a contentious point. Some people think alcohol is okay. Some people don't think alcohol is okay. For me personally, I don't think it's okay on the carnivore diet for a couple of reasons, but mainly because it lowers your, your discipline, I think. And then it makes it easier for you to then go on and do something that you don't want to do. But like I said, I'm going to come back and talk about that in a separate video because I want to get some facts together first. So we'll come back and address that later. The other thing is when I went to the gym, I have to say I felt amazing. Having had some carbs for basically two days in a row, I went to the gym. I also did have a, a, I had a flat white with caffeine instead of my decaf. And those two things combined, when I went in the gym, I got on the treadmill and I ran for an hour straight at, it wasn't very fast, but I haven't done that in a couple of years. And yeah, since a few months after I did the half marathon, that's been the first time I've ever, that I've been able to do that. Now, I don't, I think it was a combination of things, but exercise wise, I hadn't really varied my routine very much and I absolutely was not expecting to feel that good and that energetic. And so I suspect that having the carbs and a little bit of caffeine, that combination actually made me feel great. I could have run probably another hour. I probably could have run a half marathon if I'd really wanted to, but I didn't have the time. I had some business meetings that I had to get to, so I just ran the hour and stopped. So I also want to talk about that from a sort of carb loading perspective when people talk about, you know, oh, you want to carb load or something before you do a long race, like a marathon or something. I, I have some thoughts on that. But again, I want to, I'd like to research it a little bit. So I come with a little bit of ammunition, but just to not to give you too much of a, a, a spoiler, but I suspect and, and I'm, again, I'm no doctor, I'm no scientist. This is just from my own personal experience. It's totally anecdotal. But I suspect that if you're on a low carb diet, maybe not zero carbs, but even if you're on like a keto diet and you're, or a low GI diet, so you're eating, only eating certain types of carbs and you're keeping those to a minimum, I suspect that it's much more effective to carb load before something like a marathon if you do it for a couple of days in a row and kind of build up the stores of glycogen and stuff in your muscles then it would be for somebody who's just eating a normal diet because frankly in the past whenever I've tried to carb load it's never really worked that well but I've never really been on a ketogenic diet like this so I was a little bit surprised with how much energy I really felt like I had so the other thing I was curious about was, were, well, was two things. One was what would the impact be on sort of my joints and my arthritis and my joint pain and all the stuff that I'd been suffering from, which is why I started this diet in the beginning. And I was curious as to what would happen to my weight. So in the immediate effect, 
really wasn't much. So Friday, I, well, Friday I didn't weigh. So Saturday when I got home, I had put on about a half a kilo, which I kind of figured. And then today I'd put on another whole kilo. So the net effect of that, which is pretty much what I expected is, is that I had a, a, a little jump in weight, a little increase in body fat, but n- almost not enough to measure. And I've had cravings again. So having that couple of days, did it really have a massive impact? Not really. My, um, I mean, my stomach, my bowel moves, everything else, totally fine. I've had no impact. My arthritis, no impact. Nothing's come back. I've had no extra soreness. I've had no soreness in my tendons. I've had no, nothing. So other than a little bit of weight gain, probably water retention. Um, my legs were quite sore after the run, so I suspect that I had a little bit of water retention from that. I went and ran a half an hour today, ran a 5K at my normal pace that I would train at and got through that. Again, no stopping, not even wanting to, just blasted right through it. So that was good, and I felt pretty good today as well. I've been very strict on the diet today and um, yesterday, so I'm back on the diet, but I do, I have noticed that I do have cravings again, but I suspect probably by tomorrow that they'll go away. So mixed results. Um, I'm not proud of myself that I kind of gave in and didn't stick to the diet, but it could have been a lot worse. I could have gone for pizza. I could have had donuts in the morning. I could have like properly gone off the rails, but I didn't. I really tried to stay as much on the diet as possible, but I consciously broke it knowing, or I, I knew ahead of time, and I sort of was like, okay with it. I'm like, right, so this is how it's going to be. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to get back on the diet, and it's going to be fine. So on one hand, I don't. it's not like I slipped up and I caved into my cravings. It's I kind of knew it was going to happen, and so I just dealt with it and got past it. So on that one hand, I feel okay about it. But, um, yeah, it's it's been interesting. I, don't, I still don't want to, I don't want to go back to eating carbs. I don't, I certainly don't want to eat bread. Um, I did feel a little bloated, but there was no long-term impact. So, but I don't want to eat that stuff. That That isn't how I eat now. How I eat now is a ketogenic diet. It's like 95% carnivore with a couple of maybe little seeds like peanuts and whatever that technically aren't on the diet. And I know some people are going to go, well, if you eat peanuts, you're not on the carnivore diet. And that's fine. Whatever. You can say that. But this is my version of the carnivore diet, and it's what I'm doing. And if that's, frankly, the only thing that I cheat with, then I'm okay with that. Um, so, yeah. So that's where we are now. Um, resetting, again, basically resetting the diet, getting back to my normal weight training during the week. I've got a busy schedule this week, but I'm not out of town, and so I should be fine. I do have those other two videos that I want to record, so I'll do those in the next couple of days and start getting those out. And again, I want to, I do want to get back to doing them a little bit more regularly. Um, it feels like there's been a long time, even though it's it's only been about a week in between when I did the last one, if, if even that. So um, anyway... Now I'm just waffling. So that was what I wanted to talk about for tonight. I hope everybody's diet's going well. I hope everybody out there is good. Please, if you have any comments, you know, leave some comments there. I do read all the comments and uh, I try to reply to everybody that I can. And um, please, if you haven't subscribed so far, so far, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and keep up with what's going on. And then you can get notifications when I talk about tequila and alcohol and when I talk about carb loading. So anyway, that's it for me tonight. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.